The scene was not different from that of Tuesday when the news team monitored the situation at the Makola market. Firefighters were up high, busily drenching goods that had been affected by the inferno. The service in the previous days had struggled to access the warehouse which had still been engulfed by the fire. On Wednesday, the firefighters had access to the shop and were segregating the affected goods, mostly combustibles, to prevent the fire from spreading. It is the fuel load and then the type of fuel load that we have in there. Um, like I said before, we have beads, um, debris of mater um, cotton material fabrics, uh, we have a lot of alcohol, uh, glass, um, metal, jewelry, and a lot more. No, the, this it, it, um, it can be seen that it was being used as both a warehouse and a selling area. So you have a lot of compacted items after the fire. So with these, um, you have the fires coming up once in a while, even if you extinguish it. Now what we're trying to do is, we are doing an excavation where we segregate all the burning items and then we put them off gradually. And that's why you see us uh, that uh, it's taking some time. But um, we will get to, to it and then try to finish uh, extinguishing it finally. Meanwhile, the Greater Accra Regional Director for NADMO, Archibald Kobna, after assessing the situation, advised Ghanaians to make their safety paramount. The issue of us all as individuals, business people, to take the issue of fire extinguishers in our shops, in our homes, very seriously. I think that everybody should make an effort. I've, I've said it several times that, I mean, of all the days that you spend time going around and getting busy, if you spend just one day in a month, one day in two months, to look at disaster issues, what in my house, what in my office is not right, in case there is fire, in case there is flooding, what do I do? These are critical things that when you spend a day or two and you look at it, we should make sure that these things are in place. Then when fire starts, we can nip it in the back before it becomes something, a full-blown something. At the time of leaving the scene at 3 p.m. on Wednesday, firefighters were still battling to completely douse the fire. So it's been over 48 hours since the firefighters from the Ghana National Fire Service made their way to the Makola market to douse completely the fire that has raced down over 50 shops here at the Makola market. Uh, although physical fire cannot be seen at the moment, some smoke is emanating from the second floor of the building where we understand uh, is or was a warehouse which was housing some combustible materials and so that is why the fire or the smoke is emanating from that area. Um, the fire service has made it clear to the media that they are working assiduously to fight the fire completely. Reporting for City News, my name is Kweku Ediyama Ansa.